Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Simpler. In this video I'd like to show you how you can use the effects. The effects are in this section and you have five effects. So um, you can apply effects to each individual sample or track which you can select underneath here or you can apply effect directly to the master or global track. So before we start with effects, let's load some samples. So on the first sample or track, let's click load here. Um, and then we go inside the demo, which was already selected. And let's load, for example, some uh, kit acoustic. Let's hear uh, what it sounds like. Perfect. Let's go to the second sample or track and let's load something different. So for example, a loop bass. Actually, I don't particularly like that, so let's click on that. Let's clear it as well. Let's go to some to demos again, and let's find something else. Um, for example, um, let's try this one. Perfect. Okay, I like this one. So <clears throat> let's start with the um, the kit acoustic and let's start from the bottom here to apply some of the samples so first of all you can move uh, sorry uh, effects first of all you can move from one effect to the other just clicking on them like so now if when you have selected an effect you can click again to activate it and it becomes white and you can click again to deactivate it so this first one here from the bottom is reverb so you click to activate it and um, if let's click some sample, some slices on the sample. You don't hear much in a moment. This is reverb. So we have duration on this way. Okay. And we have wet level above. And you can see a, a gray circle is coming up. Now you can hear a reverb has been applied. Now we have applied the reverb to this sample, but not to this one. As you can hear, there's no reverb. Now, if I was to deactivate that uh, reverb effect on the first sample and I was to select the master track, I could apply that reverb for all the sample like so. So there is reverb now on the first sample. And there is a verb, reverb also on the second sample. So remember, you can apply um, effects on directly or individually on each sample or to all the sample at global or master level. Okay, let's continue our uh, journey. Let's remove that reverb there. Let's select again our kit. The next one is uh, um, feedback delay uh, or delay feedback. So uh, you click to activate it. You have duration here. Okay, which you can synchronize also to different uh, nodes level or, or different node direction, uh, duration, sorry, which are um, showed in here. And then, of course, you have uh, your uh, delay feedback moving up. So you should hear the delay. Let's move up to increase the feedback. Further up. Let's deactivate that. Okay, perfect. Deactivate it. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one, and let's activate it, is a frequency, uh, sorry, an amplitude modulation. You have frequency on the, on the horizontal axis, and you have the amplitude of the modulation on the y axis, so moving vertically. And again, you can change the frequency and align them to note the duration as well, which is shown here. And you can hear the frequency will be modulated. Okay, 
let's deactivate it now let's go to the next one and we activate this one and this is the classical um, uh, frequency cutoff and resonance filter so we have uh, um, your frequency um, horizontally which you can change and then vertically you have the resonance and as you move you can see a high pass filter like so or if you move it to the left hand side you see a low pass filter so oh, let's go high nothing on the kicks Here you start to hear something because it's a high pass filter. Okay, perfect. And then the last one, let's activate it, is your distortion filter. So you have clipping on the horizontal axis. Okay. And then you have your um, distortion uh, level moving up. Hope you found this useful and see you next time. Bye.